What you are about to see is a great example of how not to conduct yourself during a wind turbine technician interview. Although this is merely a fictional portrayal full of extreme examples, there are nonetheless common pitfalls that should be smartly avoided. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Are you Josh? Yeah. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. My name's Matt. Um, I'm a hiring coordinator here at the Wind Company. Okay. And just real quick, I um, wanted to kind of discuss with you about the um, wind technician position that's available. Okay. Um, if you could, um, just what, how this is going to work, make it easy on you. Okay. The first part of the interview, I just want you to tell me a little bit about your background, um, why you're interested in this. The second part of the interview will be kind of a technical question. Just kind of see um, cool more or less if you know what's going on and okay so with that in mind uh, you applied for the traveling wind tech position yeah uh, so with like I said with that in mind tell me a little bit about yourself uh, I'm uh, uh, I'm good at stuff okay no nope. um, yeah Anything in particular you're good at? Uh, I'm really good at, uh, let's see, oh, Xbox. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Some of that Titanfall. Okay. Some of the, uh, some of that Halo. Hello. All right. Yeah. I like it. All right. Uh, so why did you pick Win Technician as a career field? Uh, you guys were hiring. Okay. Yep. All right. That's a pretty good reason, I guess. Um, okay. So we're hiring. Yep. Uh, that is absolutely the case. Um, what skills do you feel like do you ever translate into a strong wind tech? You know, what top skills do you feel like are needed? Well, I'm a good worker. Okay. Hard worker. Yep. Just a hard worker. Just a hard worker. All right. Um, do you have any weak? What? What's your biggest weakness? Oh, my biggest weakness are the ladies. The ladies. The ladies. Okay, do you think that that would get in the way of you being able to complete your job? Well, you know, if I'm out a little late. Or, well, you know, if I've been doing things all night, then, uh, you know, I might come in a little late. I might roll out of bed about 10-ish. Okay. Uh... Wow. Um, what what do you feel would make a great team player? A uh, good team player is somebody who really does, I would say, at least 90% of the work. Okay. Yep. And uh, somebody that, oh, uh, it gets paid more. Okay. No. Well, and uh, I don't know, somebody who just shows up. All right. All right. It's kind of a hypothetical for me. Okay. Uh, let's say that you see somebody on your team mm -hmm. doing something unsafe, kind of putting you at risk. Yeah. How would you react to that situation? Well, here's how I'd react. Three words. Not my job. Okay. Yep. When you say not your job, but you're the one that's at risk, do you feel like you need to say something to them? Oh... Uh... Well, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to knock on him or, or you know, get him in trouble or anything okay. like that. So, uh, you know, I'd probably, I just wouldn't say anything, and I would, uh, I would hope that it just goes away. Okay. Yep. Is there any particular reason why you want to work for our company? Uh, I heard WinTechs make a lot of money, and that's pretty much what, uh, what got me here. Okay. Yep. Uh, we mentioned earlier, kind of wanted to get to know you, see if you fit kind of what we're looking for. Okay. Uh, but at the same time, I want to also kind of get a, an idea of your technical background. Okay. So the next couple questions are going to be a little bit more technical based, kind of see what your knowledge base looks like. Uh, Fired away. Awesome, awesome. I love to hear that. Can you explain to me Ohm's Law? Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law. 
Oh, that's the law where if something bad happens, it will, right? Um, I think what you're referring to is Murphy's Law. Oh, yeah. I get those two dudes mixed up from time to time. Okay. Um, Next uh, question. Yeah, absolutely. Have you ever climbed a tower before? I've climbed a tree. Okay. I've climbed stairs. I've climbed a lot of stairs. Have you ever climbed a ladder at all? Uh, I've climbed a deer stand, and that's got a little bit of a ladder to it. Okay. So a tower is can be upwards of 300 feet in the air. No. How do you know the steps in order to, to climb a tower ladder? Well, I would assume there was an elevator on site because I'm not. I don't really want to climb that much. Okay. That's a lot of. That's a lot. 300 okay. feet. That's a lot. It is. Do you, are you afraid of heights? Uh, I would say no, but at the end of the day, who wants to really climb that much? Okay. You know? Absolutely. How often do you in inspect a climbing harness when you are climbing? Oh, I'm assuming it's, you know, you want you guys give me whatever whatever you're going to give me, and it'll be uh, good to go for however long you employ me. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So you mentioned that you saw the, the ad... Um, our job posting. Correct. That we were hiring. Yeah. With your background, do you how do you know how a wind turbine works? Uh well, you know, I see them spinning. Right. So I would assume assume they're filled full of diesel fuel, which okay. turns the blades, which creates a breeze, which, you know, is kinda helping this whole global warming thing, right? Uh no. No. Um that, not at all. You know that's, but that's okay. Okay. I mean, like I said, it's it's a well, little. Well, we're more always learning. That's right. It's a little more technical than that. Okay. Uh, so we mentioned earlier at the beginning of the interview, it is a traveling wind tech position. Okay. Are you okay with the idea of traveling and or even relocating at a, at a future date? I would not want to travel very extensively, okay. basically because I have a lot of obligations that keep me in Kansas City. Okay. So I would say maybe every week or two. I would be able to travel, but I would need to be, you know, in Kansas City for the most part. Okay. Um, when was the last time you saw a large scale wind farm in Kansas City? Uh, I have not. Okay. So, our company currently doesn't do a lot of work in Kansas City. Okay. Do you feel like that you'd be able to make it work? Or, I mean... Mm. I, uh, I guess it just depends on how much you'd pay me to do it. Okay. All right. Um, so, Josh, uh, I really appreciate your time. Yeah, really, absolutely. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna be. I'll, we'll let you know by the end of the week. Cool. Do you have any questions for me that you needed answered? No, nope, man. I gotta get going, but All appreciate right. you sitting down. Don't get up. I will. Uh, I'll see myself out. All right. Thanks, What's Josh. Up, girl? <laughs>